No, there will not be a battery that will last forever, because forever is quite a long time. Batteries is growing in importance. We need a lot more of it, and we need to make it better. They address me as Daniel and uh, I like it a lot. I would not like people to address me more formally than with my first name. If it uses the best solid state batteries, maybe it can go 800 kilometers. Mm, the battery tech that we have today will live for a substantial amount of time. I will have it for the rest of my lifetime and I'm not that old. Lithium ion batteries we will see for a long time. The best way to charge your battery is to not fully charge it and not to fully discharge it. It's better to cycle the battery between maybe 20% and 80% of the charge interval. Then it will live the longest. No, not really. Operating the phone while charging is not a problem. Yes. Battery accidents happen due to side reactions inside the battery. Normally, there is a battery management system in the phone that will prevent this from happening. But if an accident happens, this is the most dangerous scenario. It's because of the vapor pressure in the electrolytes that we have. They are very volatile and they can also burn. But if we replace this with, for example, solid state counterparts, there is nothing really that can explode in the battery. So these kind of batteries can be produced. They will be mass produced, they will be safe, if they will be affordable. That is of course the golden question. No one knows about this because right now they are likely to be quite expensive unless we're talking about the solid state batteries that are based on polymer electrolytes. They can be cheap, but they are limited in terms of performance. Your parents are correct. The batteries will last longer in the refrigerator. And this is because there is a lot of side reactions that can occur in the battery, also when it's not in use. And all of these side reactions, they slow down if it's in a dark and cold place. The most environmental harm that the battery causes is actually from mineral excavation. This is a problem that we need to deal with at the source in the mines. Hopefully we can replace some of the inorganic materials with sustainable organic materials made from biomass. But today there is a trade-off between toxicity and the environmental unfriendliness and also the electrochemical performance. And it is the electrochemical performance that is necessary for batteries to replace fossil fuels, which is much, much worse. We write a lot of research applications and we read through research papers. Um, I'm kidding a little bit. Uh, it's different for different professors. Uh, some of us uh, like to enjoy a glass of red wine in the evening. Some of us like hiking, uh, canoeing, sailing, spending time with our families. I guess it's like most people. No, we don't. Lithium is a critical material, uh, so we need to have replacement for lithium at the same time as we also need to increase the amount of lithium that we can put into the batteries. And that means open up new mines and also maybe excavate from other sources than mining, from example from seawater. 15-20 years it might actually be much more of a problem. So what we need to do before that happens is that also we increase the recycling and the recyclability of lithium. When this will happen I would say depends a little bit on 
what you define as when something has happened. Japan has this its energy system. We have one really large battery park here in the city of Uppsala that also uses batteries for exactly this purpose. The problem is that it's too expensive with the current chemistries. It will be absolutely necessary that we scale this up. The more wind power and solar power we'll have, the more important it will become. Electrical engineering students, I think, would uh, serve uh, to have a little bit more chemistry and materials chemistry especially into their bachelor education or the master education. It doesn't require that much, but because we need a lot more electrical engineers that are skillful in battery technology in the future. No, they have not. There is a huge amount of chemical space to explore in order to try them out in batteries for different types of components and uh, for different types of cell chemistries. This is why this is such a fascinating area to work in because there is always something novel that happens. We will never be finished exploring it. My favorite is the lithium-ion battery, just because of its performance. I have quite a number of lithium-ion batteries in my cell phone, in my laptop. There is a safety risk when it comes to lithium-ion, but I have learned to live with it, like most people.